Hey, everybody um, who is watching this. I literally am doing this so last minute because I finally have a minute to do a quick unboxing video of my Howler Edition Alilocrate. So excited. Um, I did have to open the box off camera because it was taped like six ways from Sunday, uh, but I, I'm literally wearing my Red Rising shirt from Comic-Con a couple years ago for this. I'm really excited. So uh, whether you're watching it live or uh, watching it later, I hope you enjoy. Um, I do know some of the stuff that came in this because I've seen other people post pictures in the uh, Hicks and Leones group on Facebook. Uh, it is like a big group of Howler fans. It's really awesome. So if you're not in it, you should be. Uh, everybody there is really great. It's it's honestly probably the best fandom Facebook group I've ever joined. So here we go. The Illumicrate Howler Edition box. They've got a nice big card here on top showing you everything that's in it. And it's a lot of stuff. Um, I've gotten loot crates and stuff before. I've always loved loot crate. But this being all Howler stuff, all Red Rising stuff is so exciting to me. So um, I'm going to keep this in front of me because I'm sure I won't know all the artists. But uh, like I said, I do know some of the items that came in it. And this is going to be a bit messy, apparently, because if you can't tell, there's a lot of packing stuff in here. It's not my thing, but I'm also the type of person who went to a baby shower and wrapped the gifts in Star Wars Christmas paper. So who should I, or how should I talk? So first we have a really awesome Hicks with Leonis tote bag. Um, if Howler Fest ever happens with the fandom group, I will totally be using this all weekend uh, in Vegas. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're missing out. Again, you should join that Facebook group. I'm look, look at me, I'm already getting yellow stuff all over me. So this is a really great tote bag. It looks really well made and Goodnight Kittens on Etsy is the person who makes this. So check her or them, them. I'm going to go them out uh, if you don't know who they are. So next we have a mug and it is an Omnis Vir Lupus mug. Team Howlers. I drink so much coffee that I'm so excited about this. Uh, you can never have enough coffee mugs when you drink like six cups a day. If you can't tell, I've had a lot of coffee today too. Um, and there's something in the mug when I just pulled it out. Oh, I, I guess I should say, um, oh, these aren't in any sort of good order. I'm sorry. I'm trying to see who the mug is by. I may have to go through that later actually i did see where this is uh on here though this is sophocles first of all sophocles is amazing i want my own very own like fox because of these books um i would never actually have a pet fox because i have done some research on them and they're like very badly behaved dogs um but they're so cute and sophocles is great uh, i can't wait to add this to my little keychain collection which right now consists of stitch from lilo and stitch and uh little spider Gwen keychain. So this will go really well with that. And the Sophocles is by, I'm so bad at this. Oh, Hannah Hitchman on Etsy, H-A-N-N-A-H, -N -N -A and then Hitchman, just like it's spelled, or spelled just like it sounds. <laughs> um, okay, next we have, and I live in Florida right now, so this is not something I'm going to use here very often, but uh, maybe I'll wear it to the movie theater night when I go see Black Panther. Uh, this is a Break the Chains beanie hat. Um, it's actually like really thick and warm. I have some, some. I'm not going to say what they are. I have some fandom beanie hats that are cr really crappy, but this is embroidered, not screen printed, and it's nice and thick. So, so far I'm thinking I'm getting my money's worth even with the uh, exchange rate <laughs> on, on Illumicrate since they are not in the U.S. Next, we have something one can never get enough of. It is socks, and you can't see them that well in the shiny plastic package, so I'm going to take them out. And they've got, it looks like... Uh, Oh yeah, it's, it's just the symbols of different characters and whatnot. You can see Darrow's scythe right there and the wolf and everything. Um, so these are some really awesome socks by, no, yeah. Yeah, Illumicrate. They are by Illumicrate. So these are just Illumicrate things, but great little design. Um, hey, Illumicrate, can I get a dress in this same pattern? That would be amazing. <laughs> okay, next we have, <laughs> bath salts, but like the actual salts that you put in the bath, not the other kind, of course. Um, these are 
iron rain, Epsom bath salts. Um, and Epsom salts are great, um, speaking from somebody who runs a lot and therefore gets a lot of aches and pains. Uh, these hopefully will work just as well as regular Epsom salt, even though they do turn the water red, which hopefully won't be a problem otherwise with skin. I'm guessing it won't be, but these are really cool. So I can't wait to try those out. And they're by Glasgow Soap Company. All right, hold on. Now, now I've got to move, remove some more of this stuff. I'm getting this all over my desk. This is going to be great to clean up tomorrow. Next, we have, oh, Hemanthus Blossom Lip Balm. So again, I, I, I'm a lip balm like fiend. I usually use Burt's Bees, but this actually, it smells really good. It smells kind of like a fruity candy, not a flower, but, uh, but yeah, so that's really cool. And like, I'm totally washing out this tin and keeping it when the lip balm is done. All right, next we have bookmarks. I'm pretty sure these are Phantom Rin. I'm going to guess these are what, it doesn't specify that uh, the bookmarks are, oh no, this is this is Merwild. Merwild.deviantart.com or uh, Merwild and Company, Merwild and Co, sorry, at Merwild and Co. It's M-E-R-W-I-L-D. Um, so yeah, we have some awesome bookmarks. We got Sevra, Ragnar, Victra, Mustang and Darrow. Um, you know, I'm not the biggest Darrow fan. What's sad is that I'm probably most like him. I'm definitely Darrow with a little bit of Victra thrown in. So um, he annoys me more because he's so much like me maybe, but so exciting. I and like, honestly, I probably won't ever use these because they're just too pretty, but they're really nice, like sturdy bookmarks, which is great. All right, and we have, uh, Per Aspera ad Astra. I'm not really sure. I would call this like a thing that you open jars with, but it's a little small. So I'm actually going to look up what it is. No, it's not a pin. Thanks for spoiling me here. Oh, it doesn't even say on here. Wow. So it doesn't say exactly what this is. Um, but like it's it's really small to be a jar opener, but that's kind of what it feels like. I guess it could also be like a little coaster too. Uh, but yeah, so that's a really cool little thing. And ooh, coast. Speaking of coasters, there are two of them in here. So we got coasters. They're engraved with some of the sigils. Um, and these I did see wh who these are by, but rjack rjack so rjack.co.uk or at r dash d a c h d a s h sorry jack.com so these are some really nice coasters i wish there was more of them um but also i'm gonna feel bad getting like putting stuff on these and getting rings on them so these may just go on display <laughs> and next we have a sticker with all the colors on it so that's really cool i feel like this is the thing that only big fans of the series would get um and maybe not even then uh and i kind of wish i had room for it on my laptop cover but unfortunately there's a giant team severo sticker taking up a lot of room on there so so this is a cool little sticker and then of course we've got the letter saying you know thank you for buying this loot or illuminate sorry and let's save this little thing for later uh, a notebook which one can never get enough of oh my gosh and it's lined yay i love notebooks so much but i am horrible at writing on paper when there's no line so that's really awesome and it, this one also says per espera ad astra on it i may be pronouncing that incorrectly I, I took latin a billion years ago um okay so then we have <laughs> this is phantom wren uh, i recognize her their style i'm pretty sure it's a her but their style just in case this is our favorite ship of the series is actually a favorite otp favorite otp of the series is how this is worded on this card and that's i love that so uh this is obviously darrow and my fave Severo. so that's great i Thank God you can't see it, but I have a bulletin, giant bulletin board behind my computer. So this is definitely going there along with all my Steven Universe and Game of Thrones stuff. Um, all right. And it looks like we have come to the last item. 
And it is, of course, a copy of Iron Gold. And there is a signature card with it. Um, I'll be honest, I will be bringing my copy of Iron Gold to Comic-Con this summer to have Pierce Brown sign it because I've got all the other books signed by him. So got to keep keep the tradition going. Um, Listen, if you have not read this book, I, I don't know why you'd be watching this if you haven't, but if you have not read this book, it's amazing, guys. Um, I did write a non-spoiler review of it for the Geekiary, so if you, I, I don't know what the link is off the top of my head, I'll put it in the description of this video when I'm done, but you can also Google search the Geekiary, uh, that's G-E-E-K-I-A-R-Y, uh, and Iron Gold, and it's the only like major article on there for it. I think we had some little updates and stuff, but yeah. So, so you should be able to find it by googling the geeky area Iron Gold. But yeah, this this book is great. I, I've seen some people not really care for the fact that there's four point of view characters in it, but I really loved it. I think the four point of view characters showcased Pierce Brown's writing style a lot better. There's a ton more world building in this, which um, I love uh, world building. I mean, it's why that's why I love like the Expanse series and Song of Ice and Fire because of the world building. Um, characters are obviously amazing too, but Pierce Brown is really showing that he can do that uh, with this book, I think, even more so than the original three. Not that I don't love them because I do, obviously. So uh, this is actually like the third copy of this book I have because Random House sent me a copy for review, which was amazing um, and so exciting. Oh, and actually I did miss something. It's a quote calendar. And now I feel even worse for taking weeks to open this because I, I've I've been very busy uh, working 12 plus hour days and whatnot. Oh, 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 my very own howler is coming to visit. I don't know if you can see him, but he's down there, my little doggy. He was actually barking right before I started filming this and I was hoping he would not. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so this is a quote calendar. It's actually a nice little calendar, so easy to... Hi, Rigby. <laughs> Causing a ruckus here. Um, so it's it's like little and, and light and easy to hang up. But yeah, uh, so January was friendships take minutes to make, moments to break, years to repair. Oh, Roke. Oh, and he's now ruined my, my cover. You can see the secret lair behind me. Um, and then February's is I would have lived in peace, but my enemies brought war. God, don't I know that feeling? Um, so yeah, I won't go any farther than that in case you ordered the Illumicrate. I'm not sure if it's still available, but if it isn't and you are a fan of the series, I think this should convince you to get it. I mean, honestly, the um the Sophocles keychain alone was probably worth it. Uh, no, I'm, I'm kidding. That that may be not worth the like 80-ish dollar price point, but but the rest of this stuff is so great. And I'm really, this is the first Illumicrate I've ever ordered. Um, I heard that they had past Illumicrates for other series that I really love, like the Grisha verse books from Lee Bardugo. So I, I'm going to have to keep an eye on them in the future. Um, I, I like that it's not a subscription too. You can buy them one at a time, which is great. So thank you for watching. And as I put this stuff back in the box, I'll show it to you one more time. Um, I don't know, I may not put this back in the box. This might actually stay out. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably not the bath salts or the lip balm either because these I will actually use the next time I have free time to take a bath, which will be eight years from now. Uh, I organize a convention that happens in about a little over two months, so my life is crazy. Ice and FireCon, if you're a Song of Ice and Fire Game of Thrones fan, you should look us up. We are IceandFireCon.com and at Ice and FireCon all over social media. And we are six, uh, this will be our sixth year running as a Song of Ice and Fire Game of Thrones convention. So I'm not going to put the socks back in there either. The hat, I guess I can, though. <laughs> um, so yeah. So I've lost, oh, no, maybe the sound is back. I'm moving around too much and my computer is warning me that it can't like hear my voice. I'm not that quiet. Uh, so yeah, mug isn't going back in there either. That needs to be washed and used. All right. 
uh, bookmarks. These are going back. I need to figure out something to do with these. I may like mount them and frame them because they're that awesome. But, and other than that, thank you guys for watching. And again, I will put the link to my review of Iron Gold in the, com uh, in the description for the video. Have a great day.